Hey everybody, what's going on? Hope you guys are doing good. I'm doing just great. You're watching Eric C. Today I got a little bit of an unboxing to do. Hi, where are you from? In suburban Chicago. What's your name? Never impressive. But never duplicate. So what's going on everybody? Hope everyone's doing well. Today I got some unboxings and uh, yeah, so let's get started with that. So I'm not too sure what's in these boxes, but let's start off with the first one here. Some parts I ordered, some tools I ordered, I don't know, let's see. Alright, so we got so far a bunch of bubble wrap here. Alright, let's see what we got here. Alright, so I ordered a bunch of Epiphone three-way switches. These are in silver. They got the white or the black. And I ordered quite a few of these, didn't I? Yeah, I got five of them here. They come with the poker chips in cream or in black. And a little thank you from the place I ordered them from. A few picks. Can never do without more of those. All right, so I got two, 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 and two. So they sent me more of the blacks than the whites and the cream colored ones, which is fine. I can always use them. Yeah, so instead of ordering, um, instead of ordering like a bunch of uh, uh, really, really high end three-way switches, I ordered the Epiphone ones. They seem to work pretty good. I've used them in a lot of different things. Uh, Epiphone seems to be happy with them, and I never had a problem with them. So, I ordered the Epiphone ones. They're labeled on them Epiphone. So, that's going to come in handy for a lot of the stuff that I'm going to end up doing in the future. So, what's next here? Always got to play with the bubble wrap, right? All right, so let's see what this is. I'm not quite sure. Ah, all right. So I ordered more of the clear speed knobs. So I got some over here, and I got some more. So I need to put those with my collection. And what is this? All right, so it's something electrical. You can always use more of this padding stuff. Oh, okay, so these are the switches, the limiter switches for the laser printer, burner, cutter, etcher, whatever you want to call it. And this will tell me, because when you buy the unit, it doesn't come with these limit switches. And what happens is is that wherever the machine stops at is where it's going to start at. There's no home position. These switches here will set me up to where there is a home position now. Uh, so anytime when the job is done, it'll end up going all the way to one side and then going forward to where the other switch is. It knows exactly where it's got to be. And it can start from there. So in the box it comes with everything you basically need, all the mounting hardware, the wire, um, two switches, which this is the limiter switches, all they are is just some small leaf switches, that's all they are. Um, the brackets, they're metal, yeah they're metal brackets. Wiring, instructions, everything that you need to get it started and running. So hopefully because I have the expansion pad coming. Hopefully these wires are going to be long enough. Now it looks like there's only two wires on here. So if need to be, if I have to add a little bit more wiring to them, that's not going to be a big deal. I have some of this real thin wire just like this. So what else do I have over here? Well, let's take a look. So right here in this box, no, it is not a uh, another body for a guitar, body blank. This is something that is also going to be used for the etching machine. 
Alright, so what this is, this is not a filter for your furnace. What this is, is a honeycomb mat, it's a workspace. You will put your the burner etching machine, whatever you want to call it, over this and you put your projects on this. So when you're burning something to cut, uh, it's not going to make a mess or mess up the surface that it's already on. It's going to limit it to uh, this and it's supposed to help out with a lot of shit. It doesn't really say which is top and bottom, but that's fine because I'm not ready to set things up yet. this off to the side. This I already opened because I couldn't wait to see what it looked like so I ended up opening it up and uh, taking a look inside of here. I have not set anything up with this yet. Um, I'm still waiting for the extending, extending package whatever that goes with this. So in the box <coughs> Alright so they give you a piece of aluminum all right for like a testing this is your test plate here uh, this mat here is not used for it's just protecting from the package here she is this is the whole system the whole setup like I said I already opened this thing up laser engraver assembly instructions looks like a big book but it's not very hard to assemble this thing up and it also tells you what programs to use or what you can use. So, here's the laser. Oh, no, this is the power supply. Where does the laser go? Oh, never mind, I know what that is. This is the power supply, very small. Comes with a USB cable. Comes with your, you know, plug into the wall. But you use your USB cable. It's probably going to be longer than that. Here are all of your screws. Brackets, parts, gives you some tools, which from what I found out, you're going to need more than this just to, you know, get this thing started up. Um, your belts, some rubber pads, wire ties, here's all your bracing here, and here, nicely packed up. These packages, when you see packages like this, this is to keep from static electricity and shit like that, messing things up. It comes with two safety lenses over here. One's a little bit taller than the other. Um, and this is the laser. All right. Now it says that this is supposed to be 90 watts. It's not 90 watts. The best you're going to get is like 10 watts out of these things, unless you really spend some money to buy one of these. This is uh, like 5.9 watts or something like that. So it's no, it's not a 90 watt system. I'm gonna leave that in the bag. Let's see what else we got here. Oh yeah, some testing stuff to you know practice or whatever with cutting or burning something. All right, put that back in the package. Put the cover back on there. Now, the next thing that I'm going to get for this, which is going to be an upgrade, is going to be the air system, okay? It is a pump. It's an air pump with a, a real flexible hose on there. And what that does is it ends, you end up drilling a hole inside of the, uh, the shield over here. And you place a nozzle inside there, and it's got an air uh, that blows with the laser itself. Um, it's supposed to be a lot better with doing this shit. And also there is a, up oh, there, there, comes with a pair of safety glasses. Always wear safety glasses when doing something like this because you are working with a high beam laser that can really do some damage to your eyeballs. So yeah, this is it. It's got a built-in motor over here. Nice bearings, they feel like, they feel really good. So next is waiting for the last part of this to show up which is the extending to make this thing a lot longer. Then I could start assembly. Then I could start printing stuff. See how all that works out. I have to make room in the garage for 
I have to make room in the garage to set this thing up on a table. I've got a table already down here that uh, will be used with this. And I got a laptop that I already have that I'll end up uh, uh, basically keeping that laptop with this. My old laptop. You know, there's nothing wrong with it. I got two of them. Well, actually, I got three of them. I got one that my father uses, and then I got two, one that the kid uses, and one is my old laptop that I used to use here for doing all my editing, audio, and everything else, uh, which will be used for this. And it also has Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and everything else inside of it, so I'll be able to, you know, go on the Internet while I'm in the garage with that laptop and grab any files or, or you know downloads or whatever that I need for this to get this thing up and running and to start doing my burning and printing. Now there is a pro there's two programs that will be used with this. One of them is a paid program. I'm not sure about the other program. The other program is basically to get you familiar with how this thing works and it's pretty stripped. The other program is a paid program. I can't like I can't remember what it's called but I'm sure I can look it up really quick. What the other program does is it's more in detail, a lot more settings, a lot more control over this unit itself. Like I said, the first uh, program I think that this thing comes with that uh, uh, you download, it's pretty stripped out and pretty basic as far as how to use it and the tools that you're gonna need to basically just get yourself up and running. So that's it for now. Um, this is all new to me still, so once I get this thing up and going and start getting familiar with the settings program and uh, how this thing works, I already got some guinea pig bodies that I'm going to put on this thing. One's already pre-cut, and I'm going to see how this thing is going to work. So back to back to working on the Music Man uh, guitar body over here. I got the neck pretty much done. Um, I got the order decal for it first uh, for the headstock before I could finish that. Frets are already taken care of and done. The body I'm doing basically just a uh, very light sanding. And then it'll be polishing and they'll be assembled soon. So you guys take it easy. Have a good one. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Um, and yeah, take care.